episodes called I Do. I, I remember this episode. She could have settled down here. Want to get it on? Hell yeah. <laughs> He ended up with a police officer. Like what? That's like Sawyer ending up being with a police officer. Get me one. Aren't you trying to keep me feeling productive? What's up with him? Oh, because he knows they're on the island, right? They're on an island. The tumor on your spine is borderline inoperable. That borderline goes away in about one week. The OR we were in, is that fully equipped? Yes. Anesthesia. No crash cart, though. I'm ready. I didn't say I was going to do it. I just wanted you to understand how you're going to die. Jack. Stop. Stop. Like, it's been manipulation and trick and lies the whole time. Don't blame him for feeling this way. Fuck both of y'all. Very disappointed in your decision. At least you won't have to be disappointed for very long. See, and that's the genius of Jack. He waited until he was on the operating table with Ben's life in his literal hands to make the deal. He could have made the deal now. You know, saying, don't touch our friends, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. It's bad luck to the bride in her dress before the wedding. My friend is naked. That's right. She got full-blown married. Walk. That's right. Oh. I love you, Monica. I love you too, Kevin. Mon you don't even look like a Monica. Monica? Get the hell out of here. Well, if he's not working, neither am I. Let him give me a day off. We're a team. Fine. You can't make think she makes the rules. Damn, why the... Oh, him being gone hurts. So what killed Echo? Folks back at the beach call it the monster. I don't really have a name for it. Oh, nice. Saeed knows. Echo died for a reason. That's why you lied. We're not headed back towards the camp, are we? Just need to take a little detour. That's what he wanted all along. And that's what he wanted more than anything, to be with the Emmy. So, you know, it's somewhat of a good, good conclusion for him. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Alex, what are you doing? Whatever they say, don't believe them. They're gonna kill your boyfriend. I don't get why Alex isn't mentioned enough. I'm gonna keep saying it. She's a good person caught up in all this bullshit. She was 95% an amazing... Oh, man. That man is going to kill Sawyer. But if you put this on, there's something you can do that will save his life. I can't imagine us capturing an other and having two other people and then Kate saying that to someone that's captured. Well, actually, I could. She could be saying that about Saeed, like the guy standing behind me, the Iraqi. Yeah, he's gonna kill your friend unless you come with me and do this. Yeah, I can see that happening, actually. How is it out there? There are a lot of excited policemen. Don't worry, I've asked them not to shoot their guns in the air. A desk pop? Here we go. Do it, yes. Oh, that's fire! I did my first desk pop! A desk pop? That's not real! My mother gave that to me on my wedding day. Here. I now pronounce you husband. So how the hell does this Diana was going on on the island? That's yeah, this is his first time seeing them. That's right. Imagine if this was the first time we saw Kate too. They didn't show us all the cage stuff. I'll give us some you some privacy. <laughs> With Ben on the comms. They're making us work. What? I don't know what it is, but it's big. Runway. You have to do it. What did they do to you? Nothing. They're gonna kill Sawyer. God, I'm sorry. It's worth operating on Ben to save Sawyer. Like, come on, man. That's, so... He's a piece of shit, but he's a friend. But it is worth, if you think they're going to die anyway, it's worth letting Ben die with them too. I get it, Jack. I fucking get it, man. We're done here. We're done in here. Get her out of there. Michael Emerson is amazing. Oh man, and the fact he took all those ass whoopings with death tumor on his spine. Mark. Oh, I forgot she calls him. Why? Why, Kate? I don't want to run anymore. What's his name? Yo, this guy knows Kate. If you can really stay put, really settle down, then I'll stop chasing you. I don't believe that for a second. But you and I both know that's not going to happen. And that's, okay, see, that's why he said it. I'm sitting here thinking, what U.S. Marshal would just say that to it, but he was saying it in terms of, like, hell's gonna freeze over, sure. He might be my top five characters off the island. Can I do an off the island list? People that haven't been to the island out of my favorites? I might have to do that list. Sorry you weren't able to help us, Kate. 
ever since that revelation was made, Sawyer, I remember, all the life was taken out of him. He wasn't making any more jokes. You got anything you want to say to your girl? You best say it tonight. And how was your day, honey? I just said all the life was taken out of him and stuff, and he's still making jokes. <laughs> Rest in peace, Mr. Echo. Thank you for helping me find my... All right, that's true. He did make him believe again. And then John was right under it. John 316, I think it said. They want him to do surgery on Ben. Who the hell's Ben? Henry, the guy who brought us in. <laughs> who the hell's Ben? He still didn't know that was his name. So don't pretend like you don't care. We've already been through this. Shut up, James. Yeah, James. <laughs> We're on another island, like an Alcatraz. Unless you're a mermaid, you got a boat. Ain't no point. Alex has a boat. Just like kissing guys at random moments, like she did with Jack in season one. She, there really is no reason to it. I thought Jack was there to see this dirty cage sex. Oh no, I think he sees him like cuddling afterwards. That's what it is, right? <laughs> you know that honeymoon I've been promising you? You are holding in your hand two tickets to Costa Rica. Is your passport ready, baby? She can go to Costa Rica and flee the country for good. Now that I think about it. Damn, I really forgot why Kate was in Australia. What the hell? Did she exchange those tickets to go to Australia? That's probably what it is. Yeah, how am I not supposed to think it's Kate, Kate and Sawyer were... I mean, they did have something real. It's Even though Jack and Kate end up together in the end and Sawyer and Juliet end up together. I love you too. Try it. The door. Who said that? It's crazy because they didn't know he was a spinal surgeon, but Ben sent uh, Goodwin and Ethan out there and stuff got so messed up, especially in the tail section. You know, he couldn't approach them and be like, yeah, it's uh, sorry. Stuff started off on the wrong foot, but I need you to help me. I get. I was surprised too. I would have picked her and you. Shut up. <laughs> Tomorrow. That's right. First thing. And everything I mentioned before. He gets to go home. Fuck Kate. I need what you promised me before. I need to get the hell off this island. We have to go back. Kate, we have to go back. What if I told you I was on the run for blowing up my father? This isn't funny. It's not a joke. I almost had a baby. Wow, considering what happens with Claire's son. People are going to be asking a lot of questions. They didn't want you to lose your job. No, he really didn't do shit. She didn't even give him a chance to react to what was happening. It's like, what? What do you mean? Whoa. You get nervous before you do surgery? I used to. Not anymore, no. Because I'm motherfucking Jack Shepard, top five sur spinal surgeons in the world. Your insurance can't afford me. Did Alex ask about me? No. Well, see you on the other side. Haha, <laughs> the other side. Let's go. Ben just put his life in the hands of one of them. Shepard wasn't even on Jacob's list. He wasn't? And Jack's smart by doing the shit that he did because this punk ass bitch tried to kill Sawyer anyway. And even Sawyer knew it. He's like, my life ain't worth it. Don't trust these fucking people. Just let me die. Blood pressure's dropping. Should he be bleeding like that? Nope. No, he shouldn't. Good shit. Jack! If I don't stitch that back up in the next hour, he's dead. Bring that walkie-talkie. You, you let go, or I do her too. Sawyer, you fight! Close your eyes, Frank. No! No! They really made it seem like Sawyer was gonna be gone. This is for Colleen, you son of a bitch! This is for Colleen! Colleen! Here, what? Give your walkie to Kate. What are you talking about? Just hand her the damn walkie, Danny. This is the most clutch thing Jack ever did in this show. Holy shit. Well, besides the ending. Do you remember what story I told you when you were stitching me up? When you get safe, you tell me that story. If I don't get a call from you in the next hour, I'm dying. God. That was probably some of the best last five, six, seven minutes, whatever, any episode on this show. Wow. Not in Portland. Next episode, I know who that's about. See, now we're getting to episodes 
that I thought were way farther deep in the series. I know Expose is coming up because of Nikki and Paolo. And then not in Portland, Juliet's backstory. Like what? Damn, I thought it was the finale that Kate gets off the island with Alcatraz back onto the main island. Because I know season three ends with, I think, him saying, we have to go back, Kate. I'm pretty sure. But the episodes leading up to that, I thought... They spent the whole season there. I guess not. And with Alex and her boyfriend and because I'm pretty sure they're on the boat with Sawyer and Kate when they go back to the main island, which has to be in the next episode or two. We're only on episode seven for a, oh no, it's an hour long. That's why I say for, for a half an hour show, they sure packed a lot. No, it was definitely an hour with commercial interruption. Silly Kate. Ah, oh, just couldn't have anything good. She told Kevin, is that his name? Well, Nathan Fillin, that he was, they were eventually going to find out and he would have gotten in trouble, which is true. Pictures from the wedding could have got out. Someone could have saw it. U.S. Marshal wanted poster and her almost having a baby it was going to be the damning thing. Oh, yeah. Let's see if there's a I don't think there's a on location for this episode. I don't know what it would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there, there definitely isn't. If anything, it'd be in the room where Ben was being operated on. But I don't think that's that warrants an on location. I'm waiting to see an on location for the damn separate Hydra Island. Like, come on, man. Yeah, there isn't many for this season, I see. No, there isn't. Sawyer just accepted his death. Fuck this guy, Danny. I think Juliet kills him when they're getting on the boat. That, thinking ahead, though, for Jack was just so good. And the way he looked at the scalpel, I think it's called, and he, like, hesitated. Like, that's when maybe that's when the plan was formulating in his head. Right, because he probably just wanted to get off the island when he saw Kate and Sawyer. He probably thought, I'll have a plan or something, but I just have to wait for the right moment to present itself. And he saw it, and he, he, he took the chance. And MC Ganey's, like, he just looks so worried. <laughs> the whole time, ever since his ble blood pressure started dropping. Uh, Ben's, let's not pretend like he's not a major player in this, too. I mean, he's going back and forth on and off the island just as much as Ben and Jacob are. And, I mean, he's literally Mike's handler, if you want to put it off the island wild ride already season three stuff really kicked off i felt like season two stuff got crazy with the introduction with the introduction of the tailies and the hatch but season three is when we get the others and juliet and and the real ben not henry gale and alex and what are they up to on the beach early and charlie and the rest of the gang, they have no idea the intensity of everything that's going on. And I think that's another reason why everyone was able to get so comfortable besides our, like, the, the main people, like Jack, Kate, Sawyer, John, Saeed. They're not dealing with the mystical forces of the island directly, and they're not dealing with the others as much as they are. Lucky them.